Miss Carla Marielos, good evening. How are you? I cannot hear you. Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very well. Okay, okay, okay. Help me out. Ayúdeme. Okay. ¿Qué micrófono se escucha mejor? ¿Este o este otro? ¿Con cuál me oye mejor? Con el otro, creo. Ok, probemos de nuevo. ¿Este? Sí. Ok, perfect. Thank you very much. So, how are you, Miss? Very well. Very well. That's yeah. just great. That's just great. How was your day? Tell me. I got a little tired. Really? Yes. I am a little tired. I am a little tired. Oh, really? Why? Tell me why. Did you have a heavy day, a difficult day? Mm, no. Not difficult? No. Just tired. Just tired. Okay, I understand you, I understand you. But it's good that you're here today in class because we are going to practice a lot. We have a lot of activities for today. I am sure you are going to enjoy them. Just let me send a message to everybody that it is time. Okay. And... Oh, you still got the picture of the little baby there. What's the name of the baby? It's a boy or a girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Okay. What is, what's his name? Sebastian. Sebastian. That's nice. How old is he? He's four, four years old. Oh, he's four years old. Wow. He's big already. That's nice, that's nice. Um, well, I am 40 years old. How old are you, miss? I am 23 years old. Oh my gosh, you are very young. 23 years old, my gosh. Woo. For me, it was a long time ago. And you? I am 40. You see, is that's why I got a lot of white hair. Hey, look, there's Fausto. <laughs> well, thank you, Carla. Fausto, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening, good evening. I'm, I'm fine. So, how was your day, Fausto? Um, very, very heavy. A heavy day? Really? Yeah. Can you tell me why? What did you do today? Um, a lot of, uh, purchase order. Oh, really? You have to deal with a lot of purchase orders. Orders. Yeah. Remember, it's or plural. Order. Orders. Yeah. Orders. Yes, because it's plural. Yes. Oh, really? Well, um, um, for for each uh, the purchase order, uh, a lot of products. Oh, really? Many products. Yeah. Well, uh, that's the way it is. Sometimes it is a little bit difficult, but another day, another dollar, my friend. <laughs> Cor correct. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. We have to go look for it. Hey, well, thank you, Fausto. There's Natalie. Natalie, hello. Good evening. Hello, Natalie. Hello. How are you doing? You better? Ya mejor? So-so. So-so? 
Mm. What you got? You got the flu? A little. A little. Uh, that's, uh, to be like that, it's uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Es incómodo. Yeah. So you got a headache? No, no. No headache? No fever? Yes. Oh, you're running a fever? Oh, man, I'm so sorry to yeah. hear that. That's terrible. That's very, very terrible. The same happens to Alonso. Alonso is sick, as if I'm not mistaken. Right, Alonso? Thank you, Andrea. That's right. Yeah, remember that Mr. Alonso is sick. But don't worry. In the case of you guys who are sick, we are going to take it easy, okay? You can listen, participate as much as you can, okay? I'm not going to push you that much. But I understand that sometimes it's a little bit difficult. Well, let's see, there's Walter. Walter, good evening, how are you? Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm fine and I relax. Oh, really? A relaxed yes. day? That's yes. nice. Cool. That's nice. That's nice. So you didn't have that much pressure today in your job? Uh, repeat, teacher. You did not have pressure in your job. No muy presionado. Uh, uh, my, my planification. Yes. Is uh, correct. Okay, like my, me. My planning. My planning, yes. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Well, thank you, Walter. Uh, hey. You're welcome, teacher. Helen, good evening. Oops, I guess Helen got good that. Evening. Hello, Helen. I see that. Your internet is fluctuating because I can hear you, but I cannot see you quite clear. Good uh, evening. It's... Good evening, Helen. Good evening. Nice to have you here in class tonight. Okay, let's see. Let's see. There's also Yesenia. Hello, Miss Magania. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you this lovely night? Uh, fine. Fine. Okay, that's good. And tell me, how was your day? Uh, so, so. So, so. So, so. Mm. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. But we are in class. So we are going to have fun here. Don't worry, don't worry. So tell me, Miss Magaña, and what about last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Tell me, tell me. Last weekend, el fin de semana. Sí, yo sé. Um, I visit my parents. I visited. Visit, visited. Visited my parents. I... I'm sorry, where do they live? They live in San Salvador or out of San Salvador? I, I live... In, in San Salvador. And your parents? In Aguachapan. Oh my gosh, that's far. Yes. Did you drive? Yes. Oh, okay. How long did it take you from San Salvador to Aguachapan? Um, quiero ver. One, one. Um, one hour? One hour. Wow. One you... hour, uh, 50, 50 minutes. 15 or 50? 50, no sé, 20. 20. No sé. 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay. 20. One hour 20 from San Salvador to Huachapan. You fly, my dear. You go fast. Very fast. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty fast. Va muy rápido. 
one hour 20 from San Salvador to Huachapán. It's very fast. <sighs> oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I know the way. I know the way. Yo conozco el camino. Mm, es que no voy hasta Huachapán. Me quedo en medio. O sea, me quedo. Oh. Me quedo en el refugio. That's still far. Aún así está lejos. I know there. Yeah. Okay. Whenever I see Yesenia driving, I will jump out of the street. Cuando la vea manejando, me tiro de la calle. She's going to pass no. by fast. Ah, don't worry. Don't worry. That's normal. Some people like to drive fast. I used to. When I was young, I used to. Cuando yo era joven, solía. But now, no more. I used to drive fast. Yeah, when I was young, I used to, I mean, I used to drive pretty fast. I used to have uh, modified cars and run. I used to run. I used to love running, speeding up. In my case, I used to love speeding. Speeding. Yeah. I used to love speeding. But as I tell you, I was young. Well, thank you, Yesenia. Thank you, teacher. Felicita, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are Very you, well. Felicita? Oh, cool. Very well, thank you. How was your day? Uh, Very good. Very A good day? Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Oh my gosh, where is it raining? Somebody is reporting that it is raining. Donde llueve? Helen, oh, that's why. That's why Helen is having problems with connection because it is raining, she reports. Where is it raining? Donde llueve? I am in San Salvador, but here? También en San Miguel llueve. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. in that side of the country that it's raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why, that's why. Yeah, because here, uh, it's like hot. Walter, speeding. Um, in the case of speeding, it means that I used to like, me uh, gustaba correr in vehicles, okay? That's why, I, that's why I use the expression speeding. I, I used to love speeding because I used to love speed in cars and in motorcycles. So, I mean, uh, the fastest I drove once, lo más rápido que manejé una vez, was uh, 180 kilometers per hour. 100 kilometers per hour? No, 180, 180. I used to love speed. Oh, oh my God, my God. Rapid and, Furioso 9. And in, <laughs> and in motorcycle, uh, 210. En moto, 210. Kilometers per hour. Uh, I was young and irresponsible. <laughs> Era joven e irresponsable. That's why, that's why. Yeah, but let's continue. Let's continue. Well, yeah, that's speeding, Walter, when you like to accelerate, okay? Like the, the cops, cops, they can stop you for speeding. They give you a ticket for speeding, okay? When the police go and, uh, and stop you, if you are going too fast, they give you a ticket for speeding, okay? Sí, well, teacher. Uh, si vamos a hablar de correr manejando... Speeding. Yeah, you can use it. Yeah, you can use it. Because you are okay. talking about acceleration. Okay, let's see who else is here. Eliani, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Very um, well. Wow. How was your day, Eliani? It's a lot of activity. A good day or a bad day? Tell me. A good day. Cool. I like Eliane. Whenever she, go, she comes to class, she says, ah, relax, no problem. <laughs> Easy day. Yes. Yesterday, 
Yesterday she said, oh, excellent day, no problem. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, I need to take the attendance. So I'm going to be saying your names. Fausto Antonio Landaverde. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado. Carla Marielos Guevara. Present. Uh, Carla Colocho de Parada. Not here. Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Doyla Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Present. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Present. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Helen María Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Ok. Uy. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Francisco, I could, I could swear that I heard you. Yes, Francisco. Present. I can see you speaking, but I cannot hear you. Don't worry, don't worry, Francisco. I can see you, I can see you. That's important. Eh, Alonso Antonio Turcios Brizuela. Present. Andrea Natalie Espinalo Mansor. Present, teacher. Wendy Azucena Pérez Hernández. And Pedro Antonio Hernández. Okay, let me see. According to this, I got... Mm. Okay, okay, okay. There's somebody who's here that wasn't here. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, Felicita. Okay, perfect. Let's see who else is new in the class. Jorge, good evening. How are you? Fine. Ready for the class? Yes. That's great. That's great, mister. And Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Let's try it again. Probemos de nuevo. Still. Hey, I cannot hear you, Francisco. Perhaps later on. That's normal with us. Yeah, that happens to us. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Eliani, tell me. Tell me, please. Today is a uh, Wednesday. Tell me. Tell me two things that you have to do on Wednesdays. ¿Qué he hecho el día, este día? Two things, but things that you have to, that are obligations for Wednesdays. Um, On Wednesdays, tell me two things that are an obligation for you. Um, um, obligaciones en mi trabajo el día miércoles. Yeah, well, or, or in your personal life, perhaps. There's something that is an obligation for you this day. Like for me, look, on Wednesdays, on Wednesdays, I have to wear a tie. Because I'm, I'm just arriving home from a meeting. Vengo llegando de una reunión. That's why on Wednesdays, I always have to wear a tie. You see? Well, actually, I have to wear a suit on Wednesdays. That's normal. That happens to me every Wednesday. I have to. So what about you? Tell me something that you have to do this day. Um, para decir anteriormente. I used to. I used to, on Wednesday, go to the church. Oh, really? You used to go to church. Go to oh. church. Oh, church. Aha, uh -huh, you don't go to church no more. Mm. Interesting. And in my work, 
check my production. Okay, check my production. So you remember, as you are talking about obligations, you say, I have to, okay? I have to check I production. Have to check, I have to check production. Perfect, excellent. Now let's see. Let's see, let's see, Fausto. Fausto, tell me, tell me something that you have to do on Wednesdays, please. On Wednesdays, uh, I have to prepare uh, purchase orders. Okay. And check, and check. Okay, Maybe. you have to prepare purchase orders and check. And check, yeah. Okay, okay. What about you, Yesenia? Tell me something that you have to do on Wednesdays. I have in in Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. Como? On on Wednesdays. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. I have prepared uh, documents. Um, prepared prepared documents uh, for meetings. Okay. Prepare. 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 Listen to me. Prepare. Prepare. Like that. Perfect. Prepare documents. Oh, good. Prepare. Interesting. Thank you very much, Yesenia. Okay. Uh, what about you, Walter? Tell me something that you have to do on Wednesdays. Um, I have, I have to um, chat a template. Okay. Uh, and chat um, uh, email. Perfect. Uh, I chat um, customer. Okay. Perfect. Templates, uh, templates. Templates. Okay. Well, that's a lot of activities. Thank you very much. Grecia, what about you? Tell me something that you have to do on Wednesdays, please. Okay. Hello. Good evening, mister. Good evening. I have to prepare documents for the clients. Okay. I have to call my clients. Perfect. Now, okay. remember, Grecia, documents. Okay. okay, documents. Perfect. Well, that's enough, Grecia. Thank you very okay. much. What about you, Felicita? Tell me something that you have to do on Wednesdays. Felicita, hello. I cannot hear you. Excuse me. I can hear you now. Tell me. Yeah. I, I have in the morning million with client. Okay. You have um, meetings. Oh. Meeting. Meeting. What uh, with client in um, one uh, breakfast with with client? Oh, really? Oh, wow. uh, yeah, that's yeah. nice. That's nice. Felicita uh, has okay, those are those are uh, what are they called? Uh, you have breakfast with your clients. Right. Okay. Meeting. Yeah. Uh, That's or, a, or working. Yes. 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 That's a meeting breakfast. Yeah. That's a meeting breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like this. Meeting breakfast. Wow. Cool. That's nice. That's nice. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much, Felicita. Yeah. Okay, You're welcome. okay, okay. Let's see. 
Uh, Jorge, what about you? Tell me something that you have to do on Wednesdays. I have to. Um, I have to prepare a presentation. Okay, you have to prepare presentations. What and I have to send email. Oh, really? Yes. All that on Wednesdays? Uh, Wednesday. Mm, no sé cómo decir normalmente este día o todo eso. <laughs> I usually do I, this. I usually do this. I usually do this. do this. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. So, as you can see, we are talking about obligations, right? Yesterday, we were talking about the grammar and the structuring of the obligations. But today, we are going to advance a little bit more, okay? With the aspects of the obligations that we have to do. And, uh, okay, let me see, let me see. By the way, today is, uh, let me check, today is our ninth class. Cool. So, before anything else, let's try. Today's conversation is very, very short. The conversation for today's class is very short. Listen to the conversation. The conversation is in page number 25, but I need you just to listen. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important, right away. It's very important, right away. Listen again. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important, right away. Okay, that's the conversation for today's class, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, let me, oops, I'm sorry. Is this what I need? And now this, and now this. Okay, this is the conversation. Oopsie. And let me increase the size so everybody can check it out. Okay, look, it's very short. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. This is the only part of the conversation that we need. As you can see, the conversation is very short. I am going to send it right now to the group so you can check it out. Because in this case, today, we are going to do it a little bit different. Okay? What do I mean with a little bit different? What I mean is the following. I am going to give you two minutes for you to memorize it. Okay? You are going to practice in pairs. Then we are going to come back here. You are going to say the conversation, but memorize it, okay? You need to know it by heart. You need to know it by heart. You need to know it by heart. Esa expresión, you need to know it by heart, Necesitan memorizarla o aprendérsela. That's the meaning, okay? Okay, guys. You see it's very short, so let's do it. You're going to have two minutes to memorize it. So you're going to be working in pairs. Let's go to the to the rooms right now. Hey, yeah, everybody's, we got the exact number for pairs. So let's do it. Come on, guys, hurry up. You already got an invitation. Jump in, please.
Go, guys. You're practicing? Hello? My internet is so bad. I, I understand, I understand. In your case, I know that both of you are a little bit sick and it's difficult. So in your case, just, just read it, okay? I won't ask you to perform it because I know that you are sick. Yo sé que el caso usted dos es especial, okay? So okay. Just, you don't need to push yourself. No necesitan presionarse mucho, okay? It's, for me, it's very okay. important the aspect that you are here, right? Don't worry, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, Marjo, I really need that memory. Juice, a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. He's very important. Right again. I wait. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. 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 Right away. Right. Perfect. Excellent. Right away. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, let's start. I am next star, Mariela. I really need that memo brief. Just a moment, please. I need to speak. Hello, Felicita. Teacher. Fausto came out. Se nos salió Fausto, ¿verdad? Sí, es que no tenemos la, la, la conversación, teacher. Por él, él me dijo de que la iba a buscar para... In the WhatsApp, no I sent it to you. Se las mandé al WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, Fausto. I will send you back to Felicita, okay? Okay. Just give me a second. Yeah, see, sí, es que por error me. Uh, uh, I really need a memo, Yesenia. Yes. Uh, no, no. Use a, use a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Uh, right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Away. Right. Away. 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 Yes. Right away. Away. Right. But I can write in a bit different significado depending yes. on lo que lo acompañe. It can mean correct, exact. Mm. In this moment, right now. Que significa uh -huh. strike roller. Okay, a straight roller. Uh huh. Ooh, depending on the on the uh, uh, estadística, economía. Hmm. No, you got me in that area. You really got me because uh, in statistics, I'm not that good. Because straight roller, Pero I know. Ajá. Como... Uh -huh. Because I know the word, but in a different context. But uh, a different context. Yes, I know it in a different context. Es okay. como irse a la derecha. No, no necessarily. Not necessarily. It could mm. be like it could be like a. Mm. Wow. It's just that it's a bearing. How can I say it to you? How can I explain it to you? Let me see, let me see. Okay, a straight roller? 
Lo que pasa es que donde trabajamos, bueno, cuando yo empezaba en, en el tema de cobranza, digamos, los clientes que no pagaban y avanzaban en días mora, le llamaban strike roller, pero nunca entendí cómo aplicar la palabra. Ok, don't worry, I will look for it. No se preocupe que yo se la investigo para mañana. Sí, bueno. Because ya, now I'm curious. Ahora ya estoy curioso. Stray roller. Okay. Because usually that term, I have seen it uh, in like in, in factories. Yo he visto el término en, en fábricas. Okay. Fábricas. Yes, because mm -hmm. you are talking about the band. Yo. Eh, hablamos de la banda. Yo. The ones that move the bands. Yo en el, en el área del, del trabajo en, en cobranza nunca he escuchado esa palabra tampoco. Eh, que vos decís en, en las Días Mora tampoco. Es que nosotros lo llamábamos. Era como un. Le, le llamábamos Stray Roller. Aquellos clientes que nunca pagaron ninguna cuota okay. y se iban directo. Ok. Stray ah. or Stray. Or stray. Es como strike, no sé. Text it pero, to me. Pero no era strike. No era strike de, de... No, text it to me. Mándame leer un texto, please. I'll be back. Yes, Fausto. Sí, que solo. <laughs> es que se me salió de, 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 de la sesión. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Voy a volver a entrar. Hold on. Okay. She's coming. You got just 60 seconds, okay? 60 seconds. Okay. Okay, everybody's coming back. We are just going to give them a few seconds, okay? Solamente le vamos a dar unos segundos. So Alonso, I am glad that you are here. I know that it's difficult for you. Thanks. Yeah, I know you are in the same situation as Andrea. Both of you have a a difficult time. Yes. Uh, fever. Oh, really? You are running a fever? Yes. Oh, that's bad. That's uncomfortable. 38.2. Paul... 38.2. Wow. That's high. Well. Yes. You need to take the medicines and rest as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah, because... Yes, thanks. Yeah, because we know that this illness, this illness is hard for everyone. Yes. Okay, let's see, let's see. Thank you, Alonso. Uh, let's see, Fausto, who's your partner, Fausto? Helen. Felicita. Oh, Felicita. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Forgive okay. my life. <laughs> Fausto and Felicita. Let's do it. I want to hear you guys. Yeah. Okay. You start. Hello. Yes, Felicita. You start. Comienzo. Yes. Why oh, start? No, Felicita starts. Okay. Mm -hmm. I really need that memo break. Just a moment, please. I need I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Eliani, please. 
You and your partner. Francisco. Yeah. I really need that memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, let's see. That was Andrea and uh, Francisco. Now let's see. Carla Marielos, please. Hello, Carla. Who's your partner? Walter. Okay, Walter. Okay, Please, teacher. let's do it. Hi. Just start, Carla. I really need that memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Grecia. Hello. Hello. Helen is my partner. Perfect. Okay. Helen? Uh, I think Helen is having problems with the connection. Don't worry, yes. Grecia. Don't worry, Every Grecia. Problems. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, do it with me, Grecia. Who starts? You or me? Okay, I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Thank you very much. And Miss Magaña and Jorge, please, let's do it. Jorge. Hello. Okay, who's gonna start? I, I really need that memo, Jessenia. Uh, Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Try and wait. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Very well done. Everybody, remember, just, just. And everybody, remember, right away, right away, right away. Right away. Okay, very well done, very well done. Now, guys, let me share with you our next activity. Okie dokie. We go again to the manual and we go to page number 25, exercise number five. We have an email here, okay? And this email is very important because based on this email, we are going to do one of the main activities of today's class. Just let me take a picture and send it to you so everybody can have it for the ones who have problems getting the, 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 the. Okay. There you go. Right now you have it on the WhatsApp group and you also have it here in the screen. This is an email. The email is from Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Subject, very important tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the, catal the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26th. And then, here it's missing a name, and then 
write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Ruiz. I repeat again, from Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Subject, very important, tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, you have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26, and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, guys, questions with vocabulary? Is there any question with the vocabulary? Teacher, repeat uh, the direction of the correo, please. Daniel Ruiz at travers.com. At travers. Dot yes. com. That, that D O T D O T that okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question, guys, about the vocabulary? I got a pregunta del vocabulario, please. No, okay. Now you have this text on the group and then we are going to do this exercise we need to put in order the activities okay which activity goes first which one goes second which one goes third and which one goes fourth okay uh, what do you think goes first uh, contact the first three potential customers call the new clients and give them the information for June, send the sales reports, which one is first? You need to order them. Now, we are going to do this activity, but we are going to do it a little bit different, okay? You have that, you have the, that part of the text on your WhatsApp group, you have it on the manual, it's in the manual, so you can check it out, okay? Now, the activity is as follows. I am going to divide you in breakout rooms. You are going to be working in groups of four members, each group, okay? And you will, uh, working as a group, you will put all the activities in the order of importance. You're going to choose which one do you think goes first, which one do you think goes second, which one is third, which one is fourth, okay? And then we are going to come back here and discuss. Is there any question about the activity? No questions? Perfect. I'm going to be around from group to group, checking out your work, okay? So let me see. Okay, guys, the groups are created already. Please jump in. Oh. 
46. I really need you to contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Three or set day. Call the news client from the. Bueno, no, bueno. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Te echara, eso sí no lo entendí. Tienen un texto donde aparecen una serie de actividades. Tienen que ordenar, uh -huh. tienen que ordenar las actividades de acuerdo a cómo ustedes consideran cuál es la más importante. Uh -huh. Ok. Karen. Okay. Um de Mr. Sánchez en el inglés ya Mr. Sánchez Seren you have you have three days to do it le dice que tiene tres días para hacerlo yes. mm -hmm. to do it y también eso tuviéramos que escribirlo. No. Ajá. No, hasta, ahí, hasta Mr. Y ahí Sánchez, le ¿verdad? dice Carl, que le llame a nuevos clientes. Call the new client. Carl Alonso. Sí, la, la segunda Call. actividad, ¿verdad? Esa es la segunda, ¿verdad? Carl D. Call the new. New client. That's the oh. order of importance you think it's got. Ese es el orden de importancia que ustedes consideran que tienen. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. From the last. <laughs> the, it is very yeah. Which one? Which one is number one for you? Uh, it's very important to send the two last latest sales report. reports. Latest. Latest sales Latest report. Report. Yes. This is first for you. That is correct or no? But it's up to you guys. It's up to you. Okay. This, this program you got this Foxit Reader. Oh, that's free. Yeah. Free software. Yeah. Okay. For self foundation. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, mm. Okay, um, bueno, sigamos. Yeah. It is very important. De ventas. En mayo 26. Y él, él escribe nuevos, nuevas bienvenidas. Put. Yes, Senia, in English, please. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, I can't stop. Welcome letters son cartas de bienvenida. Ok. Yes. Es que lo estamos para descifrando. Los nuevos, para los nuevos clientes. <laughs> ya me van a... On May 27th. Mm -hmm. 26. En Croacia, you welcome. Sí, letter. tiene que escribir de nuevo. Welcoming letter, cartas de bienvenida. Ah, tiene It's que, welcome. ok. Escribir cartas de bienvenida. Yeah, welcoming ah. letters. Letter. To write a new welcome letter. Santa Tecla tiene dos. Ah, días. es cierto. Sí, tiene dos horas cada día. Each day. Uh -huh. Tiene más días, sí, no, ¿verdad? No sé si están de acuerdo. Sí. Exacto. Tiene, no, tiene la misma cantidad de días, pero tiene más horas. Tiene un par de horas más. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. uh, pero porque dice, you have two days. O sea, como si tuviera dos días para visitar la Santa Tecla. Two days? Dice, two days, dice. Visit two Two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two you days. You have two to do days. 
to do it. No tiene sería dos como horas que, cada día. Como que tiene dos horas, porque se supone que son dos tiendas en Santa Tecla, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y si tiene dos días y dos horas, es como que la visite un día, dos horas. El oh, siguiente okay. día. Ok, 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 listen, 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 listen. The, you have first three potential customers. Esos son eh, clientes en potencia. They are not clients yet. Then you have the have to call the new clients from the last three weeks. Luego tiene que llamar los clientes de las últimas tres semanas. The new clients from the last three weeks. Okay, now, what do you think is more important? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que se tiene que poner primero? First three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Three hours a day. Okay, voyéndolo de ese punto como potenciales eh, clientes, pues es muy importante. Agarramos. Okay. Hay que hacer el contacto con ellos. Okay, perfect. Okay. Aunque tenga más tiempo, sin. Tiene tres días para hacerlo y tiene tres horas cada día, o sea que tiene nueve horas disponibles para hacerlo, pero son tres potenciales clientes, tres horas por cada cliente. Uh -huh. It's a little bit complex, ¿no? We gotta think. Yeah. It's, and this is, okay. this exercise, the objective of this exercise is reading and comprehension. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Este okay. tipo de ejercicio se llama uh, lectura comprensiva. And that's why you are working yeah. in groups. Because, I mean, you are still in basic. So we are taking it slow. Por eso lo estamos haciendo en grupo, porque ustedes son básicos. ¿Ok? Ok. When we advance more in the courses, you are going to do it, this, on your own, fast. Don't worry. Right now, it's a little bit hard, I know. But don't worry, don't worry. You are doing good. Ok. I called an employee from the latest que llame a los clientes. Call the clients. Call the clients. Call the, cli mm -hmm. Call the new clients. Call the clients. The new clients. For, from the last... Three weeks. Three, three weeks. And... 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 Give. give. Yes, give. Ten. Give them. Ah, esto del ten lo vimos, ¿verdad? Era... Then, entonces, luego. Ah, entonces. Noemi. I don't know if you can hear me. Teacher, sorry. Hello. No, no. Don't worry, don't worry. I know, I know. If you want, you can text me. No problem, okay? You can listen. You can listen. Y yes. La cuarta. Yes, uh -huh. excellent. Entonces, y esta de que escriba a la, el que le dé la bienvenida eh, for es the eso. new customer. La segunda. Esta es la, es la segunda. Y que la segunda es larga. Sí, correcto. Oh. La... Yeah, because it's two activities. Two different activities at the same time. Son dos actividades al mismo tiempo. Oh, okay. okay. Guys, just okay. two minutes. Just two minutes, okay? Yeah, yeah. Finish. Okay, perfect, perfect. Solo lo, lo vamos a... Getting like in order. Perfect, excellent. Uh -huh. Mr. Sanchez. Uh -huh. Y finalmente visitar a los dos almacenes en Santa Tecla. Tenemos dos días para hacerlo y dos horas cada día. Dos horas cada día. 
Entonces hey sería la número uno en la que tenemos una hora, ¿verdad? Una hora cada día. Eh, call to new clients. Call. On the last call. Call to new clients on the last two weeks. I gave them the catch-up information from June. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sí, porque tenemos solo dos días, una hora cada día. Menos tiempo. Salgamos con esa primero. No, pero tenemos un día, tenemos, uh, tenemos una que es un solo día. You have two days. Uh, call the client, you have two days, one hour. Ah, uh, es la de... You have one day uh, to do and four hours. To write a new call, a new welcome letter of the new customer. You have one day. Esa es la que tenemos un día. For a new customer. Un It's día, very to send pero cuatro a horas ese día. Ok, es la que tenemos aquí al inicio, entonces. It is very important. 60 seconds. Let's see. Almost everybody is here. Just let me check a little something here. Perfect. Now, guys, let's see. Before we go to the exercise, I need to take the attendance because it's 9 01. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to take the attendance again. Fausto Antonio Landaverde Lopez. Present. Carla Maria Los Guevara Callejas. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado. Carla Diazet Colocho de Parada. Eliani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. No, here. And Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Present. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. No, here. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Thank you. En Grecia, Yulicia, Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Helen María Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla, Present. absent. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Thank you. Alonso Antonio Turcios Brizuela. Present, teacher. Andrea Natalie Espinal Manzor. Present. Thank you. Wendy Azucena Pérez. Present. And Pedro Antonio Hernández. Absent. Okay, guys. Now, before we continue, antes de continuar, I need to read a little message to you. This is a message you have in the in the group, in the WhatsApp group. Tenemos un mensaje en el WhatsApp que me pidieron que releyera para todos ustedes nuevamente. Ok. Ok, les enviaron hoy por la tarde un mensaje que dice, aprovecho la ocasión para recordarles que la asistencia a sus videoconferencias es un requisito establecido por Insaform, quien al otorgarles la beca de estudio, esperan de cada uno de ustedes asistencia en cada sesión y trabajo en la plataforma de aprendizaje. Deseo aclarar que ni nosotros como personal administrativo del Centro de Formación Profesional ni su facilitador estamos autorizados a otorgar permisos por las razones antes expuestas. De manera que les pedimos, de manera especial, conectarse a las videoconferencias y estar conectados durante toda la sesión en cada jornada. Recuerden que cada sesión es de dos horas y es necesario asistir para que cada uno pueda llegar por lo menos al 80% de asistencia 
Keynes-Aforp exige en su política de otorgamiento de becas de capacitación. Ok, guys. That was the commercial. Let's continue. Ok, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any question about the, that message? ¿Alguna pregunta con el mensaje? No? Enterada. Okay. Information. Ok, ok. Yo sí, tengo una, yo sí tengo una pregunta con respecto al mensaje. Que si bien es cierto, es obligación de nosotros recibir las clases, pero en alguna manera cuando nos sentimos enfermos, yo por ejemplo un día tuve un dolor de cabeza que creí que me iba a morir, o sea, ese día no me metí en la clase porque se me Son razones justificables por las cuales hemos faltado a las clases. Bueno, al menos yo. Yeah, yes, I understand, I understand the situation. The only thing that I'm just le telling you that, I mean, clarifying is this, there was a little mixed up, había una pequeña confusión that, uh, I mean, if you have an special situation, you can call the, the, the administration and they can explain you. Pueden llamar a la administración mm. y ellos le pueden explicar. The only thing that we need to get clear is this. When you let me know, I mean, it's the same as you. It's the same as Felicita told me. Cuando ustedes me comentan a mí, yo simplemente puedo darme por enterado. Okay? I am, I am not authorized to authorize any permission. Solamente Entiendo. aclaro de que yo no estoy autorizado a autorizar un permiso. Uh, that's the idea, okay? So if you have any any situation, you can you can contact directly to the administration, and that's no problem. That's why I read okay. I read that to you, and that's why I explained you. I am not in any sense authorized to give a, like any permission because you are here, remember, and we need you to be in as many classes as possible because as you remember there's a minimum there okay so okay try to do your best i know that sometimes situations are difficult and are not the same for all of us but let's do the effort okay let's see let's see i'm sorry guys teacher teacher, yes. teacher yo le quería hacer una una cuestión tal vez no por mí porque siempre estoy conectado pero tal vez por los demás no sé, en el módulo anterior a nosotros los decían de que siempre teníamos que estar conectados, pero en video. O sea, yes, como, que, is... como, que si, como que si nosotros solo ponemos la imagen, como que eso, como que no yes. contar algo así. That's, ah, okay. some, that's something that I have always uh, remind you. Es algo que siempre les he recordado de, de clase en clase. Uh, please activate your cameras because that's also a requirement from Insafor. Ese también es un requerimiento de Insafor que en la medida de lo posible wow. tengamos activada la cámara, ¿ok? Ese es un oh, requerimiento okay. que se nos da. Thank you. Ok, let's continue, Thank ¿ok? You. Let's take advantage of the time. Aprovechemos más nuestro tiempo because we have a lot to cover still. Let's see. I'm going to pick one person per group. Let's see, Eliani, from your group, tell me. That's Eliani good. is representing the group. Listen up, the rest of the groups. Listen to see if we are in the same order, ¿ok? Let me, hold on, Liani, just a second. I'm going to share it again, the image. So we are like reading everybody together. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Just give me a second. Where is it? Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Okay, perfect. There we go. Tell me, Liani. The first, it's very important to send the two last Sales report. Okay, let's see. For you, you tell me that the first one is? It's very important to send the two last sales report. Okay, the, it is very important to send the two latest sales reports. That's the first one. That's the first first for you, right? Okay, now Fausto, tell me what about in your group? What's number? What's the number one? Number one, um, to send the too late sales report on May twenty-six. Okay, so the, we're and the great and write the new welcome letter. Yes, and then write a new uh, welcome letter for the new customers. Okay, yeah. that's that's the first one. And Fausto and Eliani, 
They both agree in this one. Let's see who's in the other group. Uh, in the other group is Grecia. Grecia, tell me, what about you? What did your group decide? In my group, my parents is Liliani. Oh, you are in the group of, with Eliani? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, I'm yes. sorry. Yes. Okay, okay. Don't let's worry. see, let's see, let's I'm see, sorry. let's see. Then, let's see, I have Eliani, I have uh, Fausto, and in the other group, I have, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see who, Jorge, Jorge, you can help me. What about your group? My group was Yesenia. Yes. What uh, did, which Andrea. one is first for you? ¿Cuál es la primera para ustedes? Do you agree with this? Mm. I no recuerdo. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, let's see. Uh, Leonid, give me number two. The number two called the new client for the last three weeks. Okay, so number two for you is called the new clients from the last three weeks, right? Yes? Oops, I'm sorry, I did something that was yes. not. Yes. That I shouldn't have done. Okay, perfect. And now what's the third one for you? ¿Cuál es la tercera? Eliani? I really need to contact the first three potential customers. Potential customers. Potential, potential customers. customers. What about the fourth? ¿Cuál era la cuarta? Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Okay. Now, that's the order they gave to the activities. But, let's see, that was Eliani's. Now, I want to know about, let me see, Fausto, what about in your group? Uh, my group are uh, Felicita, Walter, and Alonso. Okay, perfect. Uh, the number two, uh, call the new clients from the last three weeks and give then the car catalog catalog information for June. Okay, perfect. Tell me what and third. next. Okay, number three. Okay, next third one. Number two. Uh, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Okay, perfect. And number four. Uh, to contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Okay, very well, very well, very well. Okay, guys, I'm sorry for the rest of you, but I need to jump to the next activity, okay? So let's move on. Okay, let's see, share the screen and Okay, from the very beginning. Okay, guys, today, if you remember in the conversation, we, we have a little bit of need, didn't need to, and needn't have. This one, we are not going to use it, but it's there. Okay, need and don't need to. These verbs are used to describe present situations, okay? Now, we can use both needn't and don't need to to give permission to someone not to do something in the immediate future, okay? Now, you don't need to water the garden this evening. It's going to rain tonight.
Okay. Just give me a second, guys. Just give me a little second, a little second. I'm just fixing something. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you see the screen? Actually, I'm sorry for the question. Podemos ver bien la imagen? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. So, listen. These verbs are used to describe present situations. Okay. But they are used to give permission to someone not to do something in the immediate future. Okay, let me. Okay. This is very important. They are used to give permission to someone not to do something. Like, look at the example. You don't need to water the garden this evening. It's going to rain tonight. You don't need to water the garden this evening. Okay? Look at next one. You needn't water the garden this evening. It's going to rain tonight. This is used, but it's not common. Esto se usa, pero no es muy común. Okay? The most common is you don't need to. Right? Any question? Okay, perfect. Teacher, para entender. I'm sorry? Eh, que podríamos entenderlo en español, qué significa o cuándo lo vamos a usar, porque no entendí. Okay, give, el verbo dar. Give permission to someone, alguien. Not to. Le da permiso de que no haga. Okay, that's why you have in the example. You don't need to water the garden this evening. Imagine that, uh, okay, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Okay, Yesenia, imagine that I assign an exam, look at me, and you got 10 in the exam, okay? Now, tomorrow, yes. there's a homework for tomorrow, right? But uh -huh. as you have 10 in the exam, I tell you, you know what, Yesenia? You don't need to do the homework. No necesita hacer la tarea. Exactly. Why? Oh, because you already got a 10, right? That's why that's the situation when we use don't need to. Because you're telling there's not need to. No hay necesidad de. You got it? Okay. Is it clear now? Yes. yes. Perfect. Excellent. Let's go back again to the presentation, guys. Okay. Now, look at next one. We can also use need as a noun. There's no need to water the garden this evening. In this case, this is the verb, remember. No need to water the garden this evening. It's going to rain tonight. When we are talking about general necessity, we normally use don't need to. Look, when we are talking about general 
necessities in general. That's when we use don't need to. Okay? Like I said, oh, Yesenia doesn't need to take the exam. Oh, the, Yesenia doesn't need to make the homework. Right? You don't need to pay for medical care in national health service hospitals. You don't need to pay for medical care in national health service hospitals. That's right. You don't need to. Okay, so need can either act as a modal verb or as an ordinary verb, right? You, we can use need as a modal verb or as an ordinary verb. When it acts as a modal auxiliary verb, it is nearly always used in negative sentences. It is sometimes also used in questions as a modal verb. Need I say more? I would like you to stay. Need I say more? In this case, it's a little bit different because we are expressing a different type of idea. Right? Look at next one. Okay. When we use didn't, this is for past. But this is like not quite for us right now. I'm just going to, to mention it, but it's not like for us mandatory in this moment, okay? Needn't have done something, it means that they did it, but it was not necessary. Didn't need to is also sometimes used in this way. You needn't have washed the dishes. I will have put them in the dishwasher. You didn't need to wash the dishes. I will put them in the dishwasher. That's not important for us. But just remember, we also use didn't need to to say that something was not necessary under circumstances where it was done. Okay, we didn't need to wait for long. We didn't need to wait for long for them. They arrived just after us. Let's check next one. Okay, now this is an exercise that we are not going to do right now because it's not like necessary. Teacher, uh, yes, yes, Mister, tell me. What's the meaning? It didn't. Didn't. Didn't is an auxiliary for past. That's why I tell you. I'm just going to show it to you, but we are not going to work with it right now. Didn't is an auxiliar para el pasado, but in this moment, we are not using it, okay? En este momento no lo estamos usando, por eso solamente se los mencioné. Okay. okay. Because that's past, and right now we are working mostly with present and future, actually. We are gonna get into the future very soon. Vamos a entrar al futuro dentro. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, somebody has got, got it loud. Había un micrófono un poquito fuerte. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. So, need to. That's what we express. If it's affirmative, when we say that we need to do something, it's like have to. I have to study for the exam. I need to study for the exam. I have to prepare all my classes. I need to prepare all my classes, right? 
It's very simple when we express it like that. Okay? We are expressing obligation. In this case, we are expressing obligation. But I'm going to show you an example for these rules that is very simple to understand. Le voy a presentar un ejemplo que es facilísimo entender. The only thing that I needed you to that I need you to remember from the presentation, lo que sí necesito que recordemos de la presentación, is this. Need to in negative is used for give permission. En algunos casos ese need to en forma negativa se usa para dar un permiso. Like you don't need to. You don't need to open your microphones for the whole class, okay? Uh, you don't need to. You don't need to do all the homework today. You don't need to finish the platform today. We have more days, okay? So I'm giving you permission not to do something, right? Imagine that Fausto did everything perfect in his job. Fausto hizo todo perfecto en su trabajo. And he advanced a lot. Y avanzó mucho. And the boss comes to him and tells him. Y el jefe llega y le dice, Hey, Fausto, you don't need to come tomorrow. You can take the day off. And Fausto is like, yeah, we can dream. Podemos soñar. It's allowed, it's allowed. Yeah, Fausto says like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but you get the idea. Entendemos la idea? We say it like that. Uh, you don't need to. Or imagine that uh, Francisco gets home. Francisco, I'm sorry, are you married, mister? Yes? Okay, imagine that, are you married, Francisco? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Francisco. Imagine that Francisco gets home and he sees that his wife, his wife, he sees that his wife is sick, that she feels bad. And Francisco tells her, you know what? You don't need to prepare dinner for me. I'll cook for everybody. You see? He's telling her, no problem. I will do it. He's giving in this case, as it's a different type of relationship, it's not like giving permission, but it's telling that he will take over for her. Okay? It's just like that. Or Eliani, I, Eliani, do you have babies? No, I don't babies. Oh. No, I don't have babies. Nice. Well, let's imagine that Eliani has a baby. And the baby is crying at night. The baby is crying. And Eliani's husband tells her, you know what, Eliani? You don't need to stand up. I will go and take care of the baby. You see? That's the way when we use the don't need to. Now, when we use need to in affirmative, it's the same as have to. Okay? Do you remember have to from yesterday? Recordamos el have to de ayer? Is the same idea. We express an obligation, present or future, right? We express an obligation for the present or for the future. Any question? Alguna pregunta? No? Okay, let's analyze an example. Uh, yes? Sorry. Tell me. I have a question. Tell me, tell me, Miriam? Gracia. Is different and don't need it to. Needn't. Mm -hmm. It's different. Needn't. Okay. Needn't it's, is, is different. It's don't need to. Es lo mismo que decir don't need to. The only okay. thing, Grecia, is this, as I was explaining in the presentation, lo único que les aclaraba en la presentación is this. Uh -huh. I included it. Because you are going to see it written. Lo van a ver escrito. But it's not quite common oh. when you are speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
we don't use it. It's a little okay. bit old fashioned. It's un poquito pasado de moda. But you can see it uh, written. Sí. Como decimos, es lo mismo en inglés. It is the same. In English. It is the same. Yeah, it is the same. Okay. Okay, Thank now. You, no problem, no problem, perfect. Let's remember. Need to affirmative expresses an obligation, a present or future obligation. Don't need to or doesn't need to express a permission not to do something in the present or in the future, okay? But we are going to work right now just with need to, affirmative. We are going to talk about obligations, right? Let's check it out. I'm going to share with you from your books. From the manual, we go again to the manual and we go to page number 26, right? In page number 26. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. If you notice, here we have need to and have to. And they are used to express the same ideas. Okay? Here we are using need to and have to, and we are expressing exact the same idea. Now, any question with the vocabulary, guys? Uh, eh, la palabra reschedule. Reschedule, okay. Schedule one more time. Schedule again. Reprogramar. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, mister. Okay, let's see. And any other question? No? Perfect. Now let's do the pronunciation. Listen up, please. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, and is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Now guys, we are going to do the pronunciation because we still got time for that. We are going to work in pairs. You are going to work with somebody different and I need you to please check out the pronunciation because we need to practice more. So we're going to do it just three minutes for this activity. Okay, let's see. Let me check, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's do it like this. And all the groups are recreated right now. Please guys, let's do it. You got the conversation in the group. I sent it to you already. Jump in. Sorry, no me sale el botón para irme al grupo. 
No, uh, claro. Oh, no. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. really. Okay, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Perhaps we are having problems with connections. Okay, no. Okay, sí, right, yeah. right now okay. you got it? Perfect. Yes. Oh, Noemi, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to move uh, Alonso Antonio. Uh, I'm going to move him to... Okay, no. Yesenia, I move you. Perdón que la moví. No, no tenga pena. Je Hola. Hello, hola. There's Alonso, there's Alonso. Ok, Alonso, vos sos John y yo soy Hola. Alex. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. That's a uh, internet. Okay. Uh, I Ah. Uh, um. Is there some some entry? No. Something. Something. Uh, something. Thank you. Dude. You need to do tomorrow. Yes, Continue, okay. Andrea. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrea. How do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? So, so you can continue with the activity? Okay, yeah. Yeah, sure. Segura? Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. I'm sorry, Walter. It's just that Andrea is doing bad from her health. Uh, no problem, teacher. Okay, no problem, teacher. Yes, well, and you, Alex? Well, I have to reschedule. 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 Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? They were canceled. Cancelled. 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 Wait, I have to reschedule. Reschedule. Re. Reschedule. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were cancelled. To provide important, important information to some customer. That's some interesting. And um, in there some time you need to do it tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I had to reschedule to reschedule. Thank you. Well, I had to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. 
Halo. Halo. Hello, Marielos. You were left alone. Me la dejaron sola. Yes. It's just that Helen is. Yeah, it's raining. I think. Creo que Probably it's raining. Right. Yeah, the rain okay. affects like that. Okay, let's do it with me. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I had to refresh two minutes for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. Okay, now let's switch. I start. And is there okay. something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, oh that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds. Sounds. That sounds. Yes, sounds. La, la, la otra me cuesta pronunciarla. Interesting. Interesting. Some, interesting. Pe some people say interesting and some people say interesting. Interesting. Okay. Thursday. Perfect. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, guys, before we continue, uh, let's just remember something. Antes de continuar, solo recordemos algo. For today, I have from 10 p.m. to 10.10. 10. Tengo 10 minutos para los siguientes alumnos este día. In this order, Walter Mauricio Morales. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. And Jorge Alexander Reyes López. That's from 10 to 10.50. En el orden que los mencioné, desde las 10 hasta las 10.50. Okay. In that time, remember, those 10 minutes are like personal. Okay? You are just going to be with me. Van a estar solo conmigo. Those 10 minutes. And that's, that's if you need extra help. Esos son, I mean, I am going to be here if you need extra help. Si usted necesita extra ayuda in any topic, you can connect and I can help you. And if some of you, if any of you needs extra help, si alguno de ustedes necesita ayuda extra más adelante, you can let me know and I can program 10 minutes with you uh, perhaps in another class. Or perhaps today, uh, I have today 10 minutes free. Tengo 10 minutos disponibles hoy de, from 10.50 to 11 p.m. Okay? If you want, I'm going to be here, okay? Say, Karen, don't worry. I'm going to be here. So if anybody wants to set apart those 10 minutes, just let me know. Si alguien necesita 10 minutos, solo me hace saber. Let's see. I, I repeat the ones that I have for today. Le repito los que tengo ahora. From 10 to 10, 10, Walter. From 10, 10 to 10, 20 p.m., soy la Noemi. From 10.20 to 10.30, Carlos Alberto. From 10.30 to 10.40, Yesenia de Lourdes. And from 10.40 to 10.50, Jorge Alexander. If you need it, I'm going to be here. I don't know, Yesenia is sleepy right now. Desperté. Okay, okay. If you need it, I'm going to be here, okay? Si lo necesitan, aquí estaré. Now, let's do the conversation. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Francisco, help me out. You and your partner, please. Let's do the conversation. Uh, Felicita. 
Where is Felicita? Yeah. Ah, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually. I need to call some client. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Oh, that too bad. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have to provide important Excuse information me. for to some customers. <laughs> that sounds no interesting. Okay. Listen, Francisco. Okay. Reschedule. 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 Re. Reschedule. Re. Perfect. Like that. Reschedule. Re. Yes. Reschedule. Reschedule. Yes. Like if you are saying it with a okay. with an I in Spanish. Hey, Noemi is going home. Cool. Noemi, thank you guys. Noemi, how was the game? Um, win or it? lose? Win. Oh, cool. Excellent. <laughs> thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, let's continue. Fausto, you and your partner, please. Uh, my partner is, is uh, Eliani. Okay, Eliani. I start. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh. That's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Finish. Okay, actually. 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 And, actually. and again, remember, risk issue. Risk issue. Risk issue. Okay. Risk issue. Let's see. Thank you. Nat Natalie, please. Okay, I'll start. Um, uh, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. How that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information that's, to some customers. That's so interesting. Okay. Actually, 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 interesting, interesting, interesting. And that sounds, that sounds. Okay, let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, guys. Very well done. Grecia. Tell me, sir. Who's your partner, Grecia? My partner is Alex, Jorge Alexander. Okay, Mr. Alexander. Okay. Uh, Grecia, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay, perfect. Important. Important. Not important. 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 Okay, perfect. Very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Let's see who's missing. Who's missing? Mr. Alonso Antonio. Hi. You did it already? Ya me hizo la actividad? Yeah. With, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, right, 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 right. Now, let's see. Thank you, mister. Carla, Marielus, Guevara, 
Let's see. Uh, Francisco, can you help Carla, please? Anne. Is the... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Carla starts, Francisco, you help her, okay? You're second. Okay. Please, Carla. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients, and you? Well, I had to reschedule to meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay, very well done, very well done. Francisco, just remember, sounds. That sounds. Ah, sounds. 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 That sounds inter interesting. Sounds. Perfect, yes, right. Okay, okay guys, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We are almost done. Ya casi terminamos, don't worry. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Well, uh, now we are going to do a small exercise. Do you remember that right at the beginning you were telling me some things that you have to do? Okay, do you remember? You were expressing to me some things that you have to do on Wednesday. Now, need to, we use it for future obligations, okay? Now I want to hear. Fausto, tell me. Tell me some tell me two things that you need to do tomorrow. Please. Uh, I need to go in the bank. To the bank. To the bank. Uh, um, I need to uh, check orders. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Eliani, tell me two things that you need to do tomorrow, please. I need to go um, my work. Okay. One more. I need I need to hacer. Do. I need to do um, my homework. Okay, cool, excellent, excellent, that's good, that's good. Now, Francisco, tell me two things that you need to do tomorrow, please. Um, I need to check my homework and do it. Okay, perfect. Um, I need to go to visit two clients. Okay, excellent. Yesenia, tell me two things that you need to do tomorrow. I need to fly from Honduras. You need to fly to Honduras or from Honduras? From Honduras, from Honduras, from, from, from. You are, so, you are, you are in Honduras right now? Yes. So you need to fly from Honduras to El Salvador? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, one more, one more. Uh, I need, I need, I need to, I need to, espérame, déjeme ver, um, receive documents for, com, uh, I need, I need, Receive documents. Okay. I need to. I need to. Receive, receive. Receive documents. Documents. Perfect. Now, look at the chat, please. Let me see. Let me see. Déjeme ver. Déjeme ver. Okay. That expression means, déjeme ver. Let me see. Okay. So, when okay. I tell you, when I tell you guys, hey, let's see. Yo uso mucho la expresión, let's see. Veamos. Okay. That's an expression that I use a lot. Let's see. This expression, I'm going to, to give it to you right now also. Let's 
C. It actually means let us see. And it means veamos. But we use it in the contracted form. Se usa contractada, okay? You never use it the full form. Nunca lo usamos en la forma completa. We don't say let us see. Si lo usamos en la forma completa, se entendería como déjanos ver. But if we use it contracted, let's see, es veamos. Let's go. Vámonos. Let's start. Comencemos. Oh, I use it a lot there. Okay, let's jump in. You remember when I open the groups, I tell you, hey, let's jump in. If you use let's with the apostrophe is s, si usamos el let's, and after that we place a verb, we are making an invitation. Okay? Let's work. Let's dance. Let's listen to music. Let's watch a movie. You see? Let's meet tomorrow. It's an invitation, okay? That's let's. Now let's see two activities, uh, the two things that you need to do tomorrow. Let's see, let's see. Noemi, can you participate now? Yes. Okay, tell me two things that you need to do tomorrow. I need to do, I need to, I need, uh, I need to, uh, um, uh, send emails. Send, yeah, or a meeting. Okay, you need to send. Oh, okay. I need to have a meeting. Have a meeting. Perfect. Thank you, Noemi. Now, let's Thank see. You. Let's see. Walter, Walter, tell me two things that you need to do tomorrow. Uh, I need to send email. I need, uh, I need to check templates. I need to check report. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Very well done. You, you're welcome. Felicita, tell me two things that you need to do tomorrow. Um, I need to check in finan financial informal to the client for bank. Okay. I go to the bank tomorrow. I need to go to the bank. I need I need to the go to the bank. I need to go to the bank. So. If you see, uh, if you notice, I'm sorry, if you notice, we are using the a simple present structure to express future. Si nos damos cuenta, estamos utilizando una estructura en presente simple para expresar futuro. Because we are saying, I need to. Let me show it to you. We still got two minutes. Todavía tenemos dos minutos. Okay, look. If you notice here, when I say, I'm sorry, it always happened this to me. When I say, I need to, then I place a verb, okay? I need to work, I need to, to study, I need to go to the bank. So in this case, we are, we are using this, look. When I say, I need to, I need to, if you notice what I'm doing is this. I have a subject and then I have need to, is working as an auxiliary. You see? I need to, now look. Look at this. I need to work, okay? In this case, when I have, I need to work, this is the main verb of the sentence. Este es el verbo principal, work. See, I need to work. So in this case, need to work as an auxiliary. 
but we are expressing the verb, the idea, in present. I mean, we are, we are writing it in present, but we are expressing a future idea. I need to work, okay? I need to work tomorrow. I need to work on my lesson plans next week, right? So, if you notice, we are using this structure to express future. Si nos dimos cuenta, estamos utilizando una estructura presente para expresar futuro. Okay? Why? Because if you remember, when I explained to you, I was telling you that need to is used to express future obligations. Okay? El need to lo utilizamos para expresar obligaciones futuras. But need to is used as an auxiliary. El need to trabaja como un auxiliar for the future. Okay? Don't worry that tomorrow we are going to advance. Tomorrow we are going to wrap it up all. Tomorrow is mostly exercises. Mañana es más que todo ejercicios. Okay? We're going okay. to practice a lot in order to get it correct. Hey, guys. Okay. Do you Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.